Hello and welcome back. Um, a lot of the times I do uh, things that I'm sure of are going to work, like the whole, like the plate reverb and the tape echoes on the snare. All of that stuff is kind of like uh, standard, at least here in this studio, because it's stuff that I know is very easy to use in, in when you mix and all of that. Uh, and what I always use in my own music as well. Uh, but I also do a lot of experiments. Some of them I show you because they work and they're interesting, and some of them I don't. So one experiment that I tried uh, a bit earlier today was to use uh, this, uh, what is it called, the Ampeg Sub Blaster, and to use that on uh, the, uh, the bass drum and snare, because I wanted to have like a kind of muffled, almost like a, like a Bjork effect on the drums. And it really sounded horrible. It sounded like the whole thing was inside a very strange mitten. And that sounds cool, but it wasn't. Uh, but the thing that I was talking about earlier, about cleaning the studio and, and like making sure that everything's like pristine all the time. So I tried this this morning, and then I was uh, about to uh, copy out all the files to send them to Chicago. And I listened to the stylophone I recorded a couple of weeks ago. And then I had this idea that maybe I should record some bass on this. And then I decided that why not try to have the stylophone that I recorded a couple of weeks ago going through the uh, sub blaster, which is like an octave pedal. So I did that. And so if we listen to the uh, section in question, it, it's got loads of really nice sounds. So you got the... Uh, And here's... And that's the stylophone, of course. And that's uh, this is how it sounds with the octave pedal on it. So, and it's not the most uh, prolific sound you will, you'll find, but it's got like the bass frequencies and it really um, follows the original sound well, pitch-wise. So there you go. Uh, I might be uh, distorting that, but if I do, I will let you know. Unless it's a big failure, then I won't. So, I might see you in a bit.